Hello everybody and welcome back to my little YouTube setup here. Uh, this video is going to be looking again at the Starling Memorations because a couple of videos ago I went there in February and they were great. Uh, they were beautiful, the sun was lovely, the light was fantastic, but the Memorations were not as murmury as sometimes I know they can be. Uh, so I wanted to go back and actually I wanted to go back with a photography focus. There's a photographer on Instagram uh, Well, there's a photographer. They are on Instagram. They're called uh, Zavi Boo. They do this fantastic thing where they capture each individual bird in flight and then they create the flight path and I've been looking at their work and was you know it's amazing i think it's beautiful it's like art and photography and i thought i want to try and create something the same now i didn't <laughs> i just gotta put it out there i was nowhere near creating something as amazing as what they do so check out their work but um i didn't get too far off in some ways um so what i wanted to do was go there and either you could do a long exposure photograph where you put a filter on and then you leave your shutters open so that you get a kind of hazy effect so i've done that before and it was okay. It was very difficult to focus on the starlings because obviously when you've got an ND filter on, you can't see the depth as easily. Uh, you always have to fix focus before you put the filter on, but the starlings are moving around everywhere. So it's quite tricky uh, to achieve that. Um, but I did get some things and they looked a little bit like crayon on like on the, uh, it was quite cool, but it looked like someone had drawn it on in like a crayon. So not my, favorite uh, set of images but good a good and interesting effort to say the least but then I was like I want to create this thing that Javi Boo does so I was I shot lots of very quick uh, high shutter speed shots of the bird you know like that and I'll just show you what I managed to create so I managed to overlap I didn't actually use Photoshop I tried in Photoshop I ended up doing it in Final Cut and using compositing blend modes, I used one called Darken. And what it did was it seemed to take all of the dark areas of the pictures and kind of overlap them with each other, something like that. Anyway, what I ended up with was this massive blob of murmuration. So all of the birds in all of the photos were on top of each other. And then I realized that what Javi Boo does that's different is that he doesn't have so many birds in one particular shot. There's actually say only seven or eight birds or maybe 15 birds flying about in his shots to create those really distinct trails. Because when you have what was in a starling flock of maybe, I don't know, 50,000 birds or 15,000 birds or something like that, you end up with just a blob when you overlay them because the, you cannot see any particular distinct bird trail because they are so uh, tightly packed anyway. Um, but I did manage to make this very short clip by overlapping um, those images, overlapping them one frame apart. So basically you're recreating a video, but you've got a bit of time where each photo stacks on top of each other but not all of them so say at any one point on this particular clip which i'll just show repeating there's about eight photos stacked on top of each other any more than that and the memoration became indistinct you actually lost the shape because you had too many overlapping with each other at any one time so that's what i did and i think the result's pretty cool so an experiment well worth doing anyway um I will show you because I did film some of the actual memoration uh, in terms of actual movement and being able to see the memoration, it's a little bit better. One issue I've always found when going and watching these memorations is that it's very hard to record the amazing noise that they make. They go right over your head sometimes and you get this like sound, that whoosh sound. And when you're trying to record that in the field, of course, you've got 50 people next to you going, whoa, ah, wow, amazing. And you can't get the actual pure sound of the starlings because you're never the only person there. All the sound is probably, as with most wildlife things, fake. I do hope you enjoy the short cinematic that comes now. Catch me in more vlogs further down the line. I am trying to turn them out a bit more now. Anyway, enough from me and enjoy the starlings. Here they come.